y'all, I'm Logan from with the Backwoodsman's Institute. Today's video will be showing you how to drop a tree with just a pocket knife. Now you may find yourself in a survival situation where you don't have an axe, a hatchet, a saw, or anything like that, and you need to, be, need to build a shelter, or maybe need firewood. Hopefully you're lucky enough to have a pocket knife. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to fell a tree. Now with that being said, dropping a tree is dangerous. You don't want to have any bystanders around or any in the range of anywhere that tree could fall down on top of them. You want to choose your tree. You don't want to choose a dead tree with dead limbs at the top or limbs that were broke off and hanging up there or a dead tree top, anything, because you're going to be banging around on the bottom. And what that, that dead tree could break off of the top, come down and injure you, or worse, kill you. And another thing you want to look at is the way your tree is leaning. That's the way you want to, you want to fell it because that's the way it's naturally, gravity is going to pull it down. And you want to look at the path it's going to take and you want to make sure there's not another tree that's going to keep it up in the air, otherwise all your effort right there was was wasted. So that's what you want to look at when you're going to drop a tree. Now this tree right here is a dead tree. As you can see, it's got no limbs up there, dead, split all the way up. You don't want to cut that one down. You don't even want to play around underneath them and, and shake them or anything because that top could come down and it could hurt you pretty bad. I'm going to drop this tree over here. All right, this is the tree I'm going to drop. It's one right to the right with my fingers pointing right there. I'm going to go up and I'm going to show you how this tree leans. And it goes up here and it starts leaning this way. So that's the way I'm going to drop it onto the ground. I know you can't see me very good, but right behind me here directly is how this tree is leaning. It's how it's going to fall. Now, all this brush right here and these already felled trees, this is something me and my dad did a while, uh, this year already. We dropped these trees and, and fell them on top of each other. What we were doing, we are improving the habitat in this area. We're making a bedding area that's going to grow up real thick for deer and rabbits are going to take cover in it as well. So that's a habitat improvement project that we did. So I'm going to drop another tree in on top of it. All right, the first thing you need to do, you need to locate a dead stick, something that's pretty sturdy because you're going to use it as a club on your knife. Now once you find your club, next thing you want to do, you want to figure out where you want to cut it at. You don't want to strain yourself, you don't want to do it up too high, whatever. Do it somewhere comfortable for you. What you're going to do then is you're going to cut a wedge out of the tree. I like to do it the first spot where I make my first wedge is the way the tree is leaning. So I'm going to just take my knife up high, hit it in there at an angle, going down, just like that. And then you're going to come up with it. All right, that's out of the way. That's not very deep. It's not even as deep as my finger is, so I'm gonna keep cutting a little deeper. You might have to switch your clubs out, find another one, but that's all right. Time for a new club. All right, got my new club back in business. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all the way around the tree, score all the way around, make these wedges. The biggest thing you got to do is cut them at an angle, make a wedge. Because if you go straight in, you don't get anywhere. But if you take an angle chunk and cut up from the other way, you get a whole nice wedge where this tree can give and fall. All right, I got this all the way around. The tree right now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take out this wedge even more right now it's just about a finger and a half wide you can kind of see that i'm gonna keep chopping away at it now here you want to cut in almost a third of the width of the tree and you got to go all the way around before you try to push this tree over now one important thing is with your club to make sure you're only hitting the blade you're not hitting the joint when the pocket knife folds down, you might damage a pocket knife. And you're using the weight of the club to take pieces off. Now the reason I had to extend this wedge right here is because the knife blade is only about one inch wide. So if I had a, when I started out, I had a little wedge, two inch wedge. I ended up hitting the bark when I was trying to get in deeper. So I had to shave off a little more up at the top so I can start angling it and getting in there a lot deeper. That's why I had to open this up 
And the reason we go all the way around the tree is the same reason the beaver gnaws all the way around the tree, except he doesn't have the, the advantage of getting up high and pushing the tree over. So we go all the way around to make a bunch of weak points in the wood that whenever I shove up high, the way the tree's leaning with gravity on my side, that hopefully it'll break all the way around and then follow this tree exactly where I'm pushing it. Here I am chopping away the tree little by little. I'm gonna try to push it over, but it won't go. I felt to give a little bit, so I'm gonna keep taking away off this backside until I can push this tree over. Now I'm sitting here whittling on this tree, I can feel it start to lean. So I'm gonna grab the camera real quick and set it up. But before I can set it up, the tree starts going. And it goes, I have to get back out of the way just in case it rolls off. Well, there it was. Now one thing I didn't mention, when you fall a tree, you want to get out of the way. You want to back up just in case. You know, I know whenever we fall large trees, sometimes they kick back off of the stump that they're on. So you want to get away from that and want to stay away from where they're falling at as well. All right, here it is. Fell this tree with just a pocket knife. Now, this is a big tree. I mean, this is probably six, seven inches in diameter. And I wouldn't follow this in a survival situation. This took a lot of effort, a lot of time. A tree that I would would be a tree kind of like this, three, four inches diameter. You could, you could do a lot with that. Chop that into firewood, make a shelter out of it. Speaking of shelter, this right here is sturdy. It didn't cut all the way through and it's sitting right on its, on its stump right here. I could build a shelter out of this and be covered from all the elements. If, I wanted, if you wanted to, you can take your knife and take your club and hit all these splinters until you can roll this off of the stump if you're gonna use it for firewood or whatever. But like I said, this is just a big tree. I wouldn't do it in a survival situation. I just wanted to show you guys it could be done with a pocket knife. So if that's all you got, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Like, follow a tree. Hope you guys liked this video. Catch you in a bit.